DJ Akua is an artist, a rapper, producer, and a DJ. But first, let's talk about your artist side. The very recent um, song I have out is called Title Chargy, featuring Quick Afro. He's based in Ghana. Um, so basically that song came about, I was in Ghana during Christmas. We got into the studio and he was telling me about how he's really falling for a girl. So we were just in there and then like, you're my, he started the song, you're my Chargy. And then we just went with it. Girl, you are my chargy. That's how the song came about. And then I added um, 16 bar rapping in there. So yeah, and it was produced by Apia, shout out to Apia. Um, he's based in Ghana to um, Kumasi. And then the one before that is titled uh, Yes Coco. Right. With Kwame Eugene. Uh, yeah. You guys should definitely check him out. He's amazing. Um, and you might remember that because uh, Kwame Ofori and I featured Yes Coco on Music Time in Africa and Africa 54 on World Chocolate Day. <laughs> Dark skin, silk casket. Your body, your body, not just a magnet. You get questions, we get answers. Cause when we're shaking, we're shaking the whole planet. So we were just highlighting dark skinned women, um, not bleaching and just, you know, loving the skin that you were born with, you know, pretty much. And I did not know it was World Chocolate Day until you guys posted, by the way. So <laughs> now I, I learned something new, um, you know, yeah. from the song and you guys as well, so. Tell me more about being a DJ. When did you start doing it? Uh, so I've been DJing for about 11 years now. <laughs> I started, my brother-in-law came into the family. He was a DJ. I've always wanted to sing. I just, just God didn't give me the voice. And I'm just, you know. So you're like, well, I'll DJ. Yeah, yeah. I mean, something that has to do with music. Mm -hmm. And when I was younger, my mom, we're watching awards or something. And my mom would be like, if you knew your school, the schoolwork as well as you knew these lyrics. So I knew I wanted to do something with music, yeah. but I just didn't know what. Mm -hmm. um, so started DJing. He started giving me tasks to do. He'll give me an assignment, give me a week to do it, I'll get it done within like two days. And he saw how serious I was, how dedicated I was, and he was like, you know what, we're gonna, you know. And you know, I'm more of a tomboy, so he actually made me stand in heels for like six hours straight to adjust to it, because he'll be like, after being a female and being a DJ, you need a wow factor. And your wow factor would be that you would do all of this while in heels. Oh, I didn't wow. get it. I really hated him at the time. Shout out to um, Mixmaster Bruno. <laughs> I've done concerts. I've done festivals, South by Southwest, corporate events, clubs. But my all-time favorite has to be weddings because weddings is very sacred because I get to share a moment with certain people. And what actually happens is, apart from sharing that moment, I end up becoming like family with everyone because when they have the babies and their baby showers, I kind of go through the whole family process with them. So it's pretty cool. Thanks so much for, for being on the show. Thank you for having me.